Imagine building an app that generates studio quality music on demand for your users. Maybe it's a game engine that creates dynamic soundtracks or a content platform that auto generates background music. Today I'm going to show you how to build an MVP for that exact app using the Mirica API. I'm going to show you the code to generate full songs from a single text prompt. Mirica is building serious audio infrastructure and they sponsor this video. Okay, I'm over on Mirica AI and we could make a song just within the website platform, but we're gonna be using the API here. So I'll go to the API here, and you're gonna first have to go over to pricing, and you're gonna have to purchase some credits, and then we can go over to where it says API keys, and you're gonna create a new secret key, and then you can add it to your code. For the code, we're gonna be using Python, but since this is a standard REST API, it works with Node, Go, or anything that speaks HTTP. Okay, and actually here's the full code for this program. I already have it up in Visual Studio Code, and it's pretty simple. It breaks down into two main functions generating and pulling. So we do have the API key. Uh, you would normally use this in an environment variable, but this is just a demo here. And then we have the base URL. Again, the API is just HTTP requests. So we have our headers, and then we have our create song task. So let me go down to the bottom and we'll show kind of the steps and then I'll show you the functions. But basically we are going to um, get our prompt text, the prompt of the type of song we want. Now there's two versions. You can either do it with or without lyrics. So in this version, we are also adding lyrics and then we can run the task with the create song test function using the prompt text and the lyrics. And then we have our second option, which would be to use the instrumental mode if, we're, if we don't have lyrics. And then we're gonna pull for completion for when the, the song is uh, completed and then we basically are going to get the URL of the song and return it. So let's look at the functions above. The create song task, it's either going to be an instrumental or it's going to be a song with lyrics. So here's there are two API endpoints, the uh, song slash generate when we have lyrics or instrumental slash generate when there are no lyrics. And then we're basically passing in the prompt and then we're setting model to auto for now. And then it's very similar if we have the lyrics where we also pass in the lyrics. Now we can also pass in style tags. And then we're going to post to the endpoint and we are going to get the task ID if it's started, or there's gonna be no task ID. So after we start creating the song, then we just have to pull for completion. Basically generating a high fidelity audio is computationally heavy, so the API is asynchronous. We're not gonna get the MP3 immediately, so instead we're getting the task ID, and then we just pass that task ID to our polling function. And then we have a while loop where we're just going to keep calling the, this endpoint here to see if the task is completed. And basically we're either going to be getting an error or we're gonna get the status as succeeded or fail, cancel timeout. And we're basically waiting for it to be succeeded and we're gonna return the data. And then if we come down here, once we get the data, it's, we're gonna get the URL to put it to the terminal. So let's try this out. So since this is an M MVP, we're just hard coding everything, such as the prompt text for the song and the lyrics. But I'm gonna go do my, to my terminal and then just run the song.py and we can see that it's sending the song request and it started, and then it's just gonna keep pulling for results until the song is complete. Okay, and then success, your audio is ready. So we can take this URL, and then we can download the song. This sounds nice. This is surprisingly good. 
And if you want to scale this into a pro app, Mirica's API also supports stem separation. That means you could programmatically pull the drums, bass, and vocals separately for your users to remix. The API is robust today, but they say their upcoming upgrade will be way better. If you want to start building, click the link below. And remember to use your code for good.